ain't no better food like some chicken wings, some baby back ribs, some fries or something. America is famous for its fast food, but did you know some of the most melt-in-your-mouth options are found all the way across the ocean? Well, check out these insanely delicious 10 international fast food options that put American fast food to shame. Shame on you. Korean McCrispy Chicken, McDonald's, Taiwan. What? Winner, winner, chicken dinner. McDonald's plays a mean burger game. But in some places, it's known for being more than just a burger empire. Taiwan introduced the Korean McCrispy Chicken to their McDonald's menu because they wanted to show the world they're up for a challenge. Fast food isn't just all about burgers and fries, so why should the Golden Arches be? And they definitely rose to the challenge. This mouth-watering, seasoned, and hand-battered chicken dish puts any naysayers to shame and forces some fans to question their burger loyalty. What better place to play with the menu than in Taiwan, a place where street food reigns? Smart, Ann. Smart. But could there really be more to fast food than burgers and fries? Taiwan thinks so, but maybe America's just not ready for it yet. It's not you, it's me. Gravy Mashies, KFC Australia. Gravy. Did you ever wish there was another delectable potato-based side besides fries? This is totally what KFC thought when they created their Australian hit, Gravy Mashies. You might have thought the Opera House was the most iconic site in Australia, but that was before you knew about these cheeky little flavor balls. Australia, mate! <laughs> the bite-sized snacks are made of mashed potato and injected with gravy, and are, of course, coated with a crispy, deep-fried layer for the perfect fast food touch. Usually, fries are best when served with a dipping sauce, but these come with sauce on the inside instead. No more trying to evenly coat a vertical column of fries with ketchup and then somehow avoiding getting the goop on your fingers. Clearly, sauce injection is the most sophisticated saucing method. Though you might question them at first, they are sure to quickly become the snack you never knew you needed. Sophistication style, and salt. What more could a person ask for in their fast food? If nothing else, they give you a simple option to bring to your next Thanksgiving potluck. Though maybe not, because they're still only available down under. Double Sensation Pie, Pizza Hut, Singapore. Rich people love pizza, poor people love pizza. There has long been an argument over pineapple on pizza. Some say it's brilliant, others say it's offensive. Instead of dwelling on this never-ending debate, Pizza Hut in Singapore decided to distract us with a new definition of two-for-one pizza. Yes, Pizza Hut got tired of creating two separate pizzas for their fans and instead decided to put a pizza inside of a pizza for convenience and epicness, of course. <laughs> yeah, boy. The double sensation pie is just what fans were hoping for. There's an outer pizza with one set of toppings and the center is another pizza with its own crust and toppings. If you're not a crust person and are concerned about the double layer of crust per slice, Pizza Hut has got your back. This isn't plain old bland crust. The outer layer has a cheesy stuffed crust, and the inner crust is stuffed with sausage and cheese. Finally, a crust that understands its purpose. Want to know the best part, though? There's a cherry in the middle. Now only one of you can try it, and nobody else will know what they missed. Is it earth-shattering? or disgusting? Or could it possibly be both? Double Cheese McFlavor Fries, McDonald's, Indonesia. Must quench with French fries. While we were over here fighting over ketchup and vinegar, McDonald's Indonesia was busy answering the more obvious question, do you want cheese with that? Thankfully, the fast food god said yes, and Indonesia started cooking up the next flavor McMiracle, Double Cheese McFlavor Fries. The name literally tells you they're delicious. Now describe what you taste. Cheese. It should be no surprise that the land of beaches created the best beach snack, but here we are. Indonesia's double cheese McFlavor fries would be the perfect addition to an afternoon at South Beach. Too bad it's a little far for Uber Eats, not to mention they'd be cold by the time you got them. Instead of coming in a lame vertical container, the dish comes as a bed of fries. They are then smothered with a generous helping of two kinds of melted cheese and topped with a garnish for stuff. 
style. These fries are classy and delicious, and the only thing left is to remind you that you'll have to make your own if you want them in America. Cheese is the ultimate Moorish food, and they would run out if they started double-coating all the fries in America. Still, it doesn't stop us from wondering what we're missing and lamenting over the lack of these doubly cheesy fries. Extra Long Chili Cheese, Burger King Australia, and others. Long, 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 <laughs> Were you disappointed in the lengths of your last burger? Have no fear, Burger King is here. Their extra long chili cheese is the menu item for you. This burger is what dreams are made of. They stuff a hot dog bun with three delicious patties and hold back on all the vegetable fluff. There's cheese, there are jalapenos. Is anything else actually necessary? I love it. It is simply awesome. Just to be clear, this burger is basically a meat mountain on a bun. You might think that blending two of the most standard American dishes, hot dogs and hamburgers, would be one of the most American things you can do, but apparently it's not. The extra long chili cheese is the youngest child who went off to college in Australia, fell in love with a kangaroo, and never returned. Now, forcing Burger King to bring this burger to America seems a a little overkill. The Cubs would never lose if everyone in the stands were eating turbocharged burgers instead of boring old hot dogs and peanuts. Avocado Blended, Starbucks, South Korea. Here, have an avocado. Yay! When you think of South Korea, you may think of kimchi and K-pop, but when Starbucks thought of South Korea, they thought avocado frappuccino? Yes, that is most definitely a logical train of thought. It's no wonder that the land of Gangnam style would also be the home of one of Starbucks' most visually iconic drinks, the Avocado Blended. Say green. 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 The green-tinged frappuccino base is creamy and refreshing, but unlike most of Starbucks' creations, the appeal of this drink is more in its design than in its flavor. Around the pale green base color, the drink sports a dark green rim to make it look like a real avocado. And of course, it also has a round chocolate pit plopped right in the center. Chocolate is the best way to make any creation special, so clearly this touch is the best part. Because of its visual appeal, the avocado blended was definitely created with social media in mind. What's the point of a fun fast food splurge without an increase in followers? So whether it's TikTok, Insta, or Snapchat, this purchase will undoubtedly increase your influencer status, especially since you have to go all the way to Korea to get one. Cheeseburger Stuffed Crust Pizza, Pizza Hut Middle East. Since four days ago when I saw you house a cheeseburger pizza, Pizza Hut in the Middle East has done something you never thought possible. They found a way of solving an age-old dilemma. Is it burger night or pizza night? Burgers and pizza have been game night rivals since the beginning of time. It's hard to beat the simplicity of sharing a pizza, but burgers just have that special something that can't be replaced. True star quality. Hamburgers, the cornerstone of any nutritious breakfast. Rest assured that Pizza Hut heard your plea and has found the perfect compromise. Well, maybe not compromise, because a compromise would mean they settled for something less. Pizza Hut did not deny anyone anything. Somehow they solved this Super Bowl of dilemmas by introducing something even more epic, cheeseburger stuffed crust pizza. Instead of stuffing the pizza crust with cheese, they decided to wrap mini cheeseburgers in the crust. So while the little burgers nap gracefully in their crusty havens, all you have to do is pick whether you eat the pizza first or the crust. At least with this kind of choice, no answer is right or wrong. It's kind of incredible that this ultimately American food isn't available in America yet. But maybe there's hope? Every great invention begins with a great dream. So grab some napkins and some hope and get ready for the next tasty treat. McChoco Nuts, McDonald's, France. Chocolate? 
Did you say chocolate? When you think of McDonald's, you think of an irresistible burger and fries, right? Well, maybe McFlurries and apple pie, too. But did you know they're holding out on Americans in the burger department? A well-rounded meal has both sweet and savory flavors, and it's about time we give sweetness the platform it deserves. It should be no surprise that the headquarters of Fine Desserts was the place that identified this shortcoming of American cuisine. Salty and greasy burgers were so passe. So why was nobody challenging the burgers' versatility? Couldn't they be more than just a main meal? It was time to upgrade eating habits to the 21st century. And upgrade they did. That's some better. Diversity is on the menu, and what better way to embrace diversity than by introducing oozy chocolate drippings to the world of burgers. It's time to feast your eyes on the McChaka Nuts Burger. This burger boasts nuts and chocolate on a brioche bun. For those who like options, you'll be happy to know it comes in two nutty variations, chaka nuts and peanut butter. The McChaka Nuts forces eaters to question their inner biases and just accept the fact that fast food simply has not peaked yet, and perhaps it never will. There will always be brilliant people pushing boundaries and making delicious choices. Dragon Twister, KFC China. Fried chicken is fry fry chicky chick. When it comes to deep fried chicken, KFC dominates. And now, thanks to China, their legacy continues to grow. KFC knew they couldn't play chicken with China, so they decided to have a little fun and take a more regional approach to their menu. This has led to many unique options, including their classic Dragon Twister. The Dragon Twister is a twist on KFC's classic twister, which twists a wrap around their delectably twisted chicken recipe. Then they twist American and Chinese culture together by twisting in a duck sauce formulated for the specialty dish. Yes, you heard that right. The Dragon Twister is a twister prepared like a Peking duck. Sauce, scallop, Italians and all. I was just talking to Siri about Peking duck. But wait, are you even allowed to use duck sauce with chicken? This Chinese classic is proof that to dominate the international fast food market, companies really have to go above and beyond. KFC has become mainstream in China thanks to their bravery, and they have indeed figured out how to make our taste buds jealous. So maybe we should all just pick up a jar of duck sauce and head to the local KFC to see if they can work their magic over here. Tikka Masala Burrito, Taco Bell, India. We only really serve Mexican food. One Mexican cheeseburger. Though Mexican fare is certainly Taco Bell's specialty, they took the term fusion to new heights in India with the tikka masala burrito. They start with a soft, warm tortilla and stuff it to the edges with delectable tikka masala chicken. Who could resist this match made in heaven? Not me, obviously. The best part about this pairing is that there wasn't a doubt from the beginning that the two cuisines would go well together. They both know their way around chilies and definitely aren't afraid of spice. In fact, if Mexico and India had a battle of the spices, it's hard to tell who would win. Is the winner the one that's the spiciest or the tastiest? Would those answers be one and the same? And is it even fair to make them compete? They both certainly know their way around a bright red pepper. Since the tikka masala burrito has never been out of India, it's debatable whether it's spicy or mild. So make sure you order it with a side of sour cream. Is it a Mexican dish with Indian elements or an Indian dish with Mexican elements? Is it popular because it's different or is it different despite being popular? Can you add extra cheese? Well, at least we know it tastes fantastic and Americans are definitely jealous. Why? We're serving up more great videos. Just tap or click, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell to join our notification squad. And hey, leave us a comment.